He was a living legend in Cleveland, and today we all learned that meteorologist Dick Goddard passed away. Yeah, very sad for many of us. Goddard was a beloved personality and one of the most well-known television figures in Cleveland history. Lena Lai takes a look back at his life and the legacy he leaves behind. I was so bad, people had to call the station. It was his gentle charm and authenticity that propelled a young Dick Goddard to become a Cleveland icon. After graduating from Green High School, he began his weather career in the U.S. Air Force in the early 50s, later graduating from Kent State. On NBC. In 1960, Goddard's first TV weather job was here at WKYC, formerly known as KYWTV. But during a station trade, Goddard moved to Philadelphia. The true Buckeye quickly realized his mistake. But I went to Philadelphia. People were great to me. Uh, and uh, But after a few months, I thought, why am I doing this when I had offers to come back? I'm such a sports nut. Eight had the Browns. I decided to go to eight. With and that's where he would remain for five decades. Former WJW general manager Virgil Dominic explains that rare kind of longevity. In one word, he was genuine. Absolutely genuine. You know, the Dick Goddard that you saw on the air uh, was the Dick Goddard in person. And he also had another not so well known side job. Remember his love for the Browns? For 40 years, he served as the broadcast statistician on game days, tracking the plays and crunching the numbers. From 1999 until retirement five years ago, right alongside the voice of the Browns, our own Jim Donovan. He had a huge whiteboard that he would have in the booth with him. And as the game went along, he would update every play, every amount of yardage, individually and team-wise, as the game went along. He was impeccable. Behind the scenes, Goddard was also known as quite the prankster. Every time I saw him, I had to literally check my back, my, my sides, my children, because he always had woolly bear stickers, and he would always put them on you. But everyone knew Goddard's other passion, his love for animals. Ohio's Goddard's law was passed in 2016 that increases penalties for the abuse of animals. He had an incredible sense of responsibility. Trust in Goddard became the motto for his weather forecasting. He truly, truly cared about not only the profession, but about the people he was serving. And in that spirit, a beloved broadcast legend, Dick Goddard was 89 years old. Lena Lai, 3 News. Thank you very much. Our own Betsy Kling considers Dick Goddard a role model. She's on vacation, but took the time to send out a tweet that calls him a legend. She's sending her best to those who knew him. Well, obviously completely heartbroken over the passing of Dick Goddard, a man who really is a legend in Northeast Ohio. My grandparents watched him. My parents watched him. I watched him growing up. There are so many meteorologists who call Cleveland their hometown, and every single one of them say that Dick Goddard played a role in their life, their early career, and their upbringing throughout. So my heart goes out to the Goddard family. My heart goes out to the Fox 8 family, too. He will be missed. In addition to Betsy, someone else here at 3 News who was inspired by and looked up to Mr. Goddard is our own Matt Wentz. And Matt, we would love if you could just take a moment to share with us how you're remembering Dick Goddard tonight. Well, absolutely, Romley. Uh, you know, towards Betsy's point and everyone else's point, I think the reason why I became a meteorologist growing up in Asheville County was about 10 percent due to the crazy weather we had. But I had to give 90 percent of that credit to Dick Goddard. Uh, I just remember gathering around watching uh, when there were snowstorms with our family. He would talk about how viewers would write in and say, I shoveled six inches of partly cloudy out of my driveway this morning. He always had a sense of humor to go with the weather, but uh, he just had some of the, the best forecasts that, that I watched growing up. Uh, one time I got a chance to meet him. And we've been to numerous woolly bear festivals, but one time he was coming to the Ashtabula Mall. I remember being so nervous that day. I had to find something for him to sign, and I was nervous in line when I finally got up to him. Uh, I remember just spewing out to him, I want to be a meteorologist like you. And I'm sure he was like, yeah, okay, kid, great. Like every kid wants to be one, you know? But he was so genuine and so nice. And I remember he signed the paper that I have, and I still have it today. He signed it to Matt, 
sunny skies, love Dick Goddard. And that sunny skies, I've taken away forever. And I've written that on all my emails and all that, just saying sunny skies because of him. That meant so much to me. And especially, you know, in the times that we have right now, sunny skies is definitely what we all need. So we didn't just, as Northeast Ohio, lose a legend, but I think the meteorological community lost a good one as well. Matt, thank you so much. It's so great to hear the impact he had on you. And he passed on a great legacy because you are one of our amazing meteorologists and we all love you too. And we can feel the sincerity from you right now going out to his friends and his family. And you know what? Matt's not alone. Our Jim Donovan will share his memories of Dick Goddard and his love of the Browns ahead at 530.